Our organisation leads the uh, poor and needy and the vulnerable and especially the old age pensioners. We go to the different cottages and, and pension um, homes and we go and feed them. And then we also have an annual pensioners lunch for about 500 people. Because of COVID now, we have to now cut down. So we only cater for about 250 and I think um, 275 that's the most. So that is what we actually do. And then we go have the youth empowerment where we um, go and, you know, go to different schools and we see like talent scouting. So that's basically what we do. The biggest challenges is having... You see, my husband, he was running this organization. So when he passed on, I took it. I'm doing it now. But it's extremely difficult for me because the thing is, is people don't know the organization is still carrying on. It's not on such a high scale and big scale that my husband did it. But I'm trying to do my utmost best. And the thing is, is the biggest challenge is donations and sponsorship. So that's two of the most important things that really affecting us. The community is a very low-income community that we are presently living in. I think every second house, you'll say there's somebody that's unemployed or mostly a drug. Not on a huge scale, but drugs is prevalent here. And teenage pregnancy and people just continuously having children. My passion is I wish I had all the money in the world so that I could just feed all these hungry children and, you know, the poor pensioners that need to stake their money out when it comes to near the end of the month when they don't have anything to eat and that. And, you know, my greatest passion is that I just had all the money in the world. I personally feel that, you know, um, if everybody could just give, even if it's just a rag donate towards my organization, then at least, you know, at the end of the day, you know, even if I must buy two or three loaves of bread and just feed a few amount of bad people, at least it would really help me so much. I just want to have enough to feed the poor people every single day. The children, the babies, the young little ones running around that you can see is undernourished and that really need, even if it's just a fruit or something, but just to see that smile on their face when you do give them something. By making a donation, or even just by sharing their story, you can help make a change.